Hey, today we're going to talk about the software is getting more important. Now, software inference is even more than hardware in the camera domain. Okay, so before we dive in, if you would like to receive more technology and analysis like this, um, don't forget to subscribe. I release video every other day. So back to our topic. Uh, roughly one and a half years ago, I bought a DJI Osmo Pocket, which is a small, very small gimbal. And that time I was comparing um, DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket with the GoPro, uh, the latest GoPro generation. And I basically watched a lot of review videos. And what I cared most was the stabilization capability. Uh, that's also the reason I, I finally I finally chose the gimbal because the DJI gimbals still have the better stabilization than than GoPro. GoPro is not a gimbal. It doesn't have any physical stabilization mechanic. You only use the software, which is called Hyper Hyper Smooth 2.0 by the time. Then uh, I did a lot of comparison and still found out the physical gimbal it still works better than the GoPro in most of the situations. And now it's a year and a half later and they just released the Go GoPro oh, yeah, I think sorry, I think they time by that time it was Hyper Smooth one point zero. And a year later they released GoPro eight which comes with uh, GoPro Hypersmooth 2.0 and now they release another GoPro GoPro Hero 9 with Hypersmooth 2 3.0 and they compare the Hypersmooth 3.0 2.0 with the DJI Osmo Pocket stabilization capability I found out they are basically quite similar already catch up with them and sometimes in a lot of cases even the GoPro Hypersmooth which is software Level stabilization works better than the physical levels of stabilization, so it just makes me feel this software is getting really really important in the camera, in the camera world. And another 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 example for this is like uh, Pixel Google Pixel phone, because you know that uh, Google Pixel phone right. Uh, Previously, iPhone usually has a very powerful camera. Very usually will just uh, allow you to take very quality camera, uh, quality photos. But until recently, I think this recent two years, uh, Google used their superior computer vision technology, which is AI to process, post process or uh, something like, something like a real time process, the photo you take, then they can significantly improve the quality of photos. And I will say now, the latest iPhone and the latest Pixels, uh, their capability of catching, uh, taking pictures are quite similar. Despite iPhone usually traditionally have the better hardware, so I, I will say this is also another example of how powerful AI is. And when I mention the, the example, the, the Google and Apple example, I particularly mean the, the low light situation, uh, because Apple, Google's AI use the uh, some AI technique to recover the color they think should be, even uh, without getting too much light in the photo. Okay, so these are two very interesting example. And now, by the way, now I'm using my GoPro Nine to film this. Uh, video and I, I did compare uh, I did some test between uh, GoPro 9 and my DJI Osmo Pocket and I do see how powerful hyper smooth software stabilization is it's basically working really well okay so this is my thought and in the future in the camera domain it's already not the one who has the best hardware will win it's the one who can 
have the best performance of piece of software, they will win. Basically, you can call this computer vision processing technique, or you can call it AI, yeah, whatever. But these kind of things will become more important. And those uh, big software software giants like Facebook, Google, will have more and more influence in the camera domain. But Facebook seems, seems not really interesting in this domain. So I would say really like Google, the most powerful AI company in the world, will really have more uh, influence in this area. So that's all I want to share today. And I even, yeah, I even feel this kind of uh, software over hardware will uh, extend to other domains as well. But as for, as for what other domains are there, I will make another video to analyze that. And yeah, that's all for today. If you would like to receive more technology analysis videos like this, um, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, take care and I will see you next time.